What's up, NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel, Rivas Talk Sports. I am back again with my weekly NFL predictions. For those who are new to the channel, I provide insight and predictions every single week for every single game. And in this video, I will be giving you my week nine predictions. Thursday night football, Houston Texans versus the New York Jets. The Texans defeated the Colts and the Jets had quite the embarrassing loss to the New England Patriots. The Texans have probably going to lose Stephon Diggs for the season. So now they are out Stephon Diggs and Nico Collins for this game. And the Jets season is pretty much at an all-time low and pretty much going to look like an embarrassment. They're 0-2 with Devontae Adams, 0-2 with the new coach. And this team is pretty much, like I said, an embarrassment for the season. This game is more of a pick -em. I don't have much interest in this game just due to how embarrassing the Jets are and just the lack of superstars that TJ Stroud is, is going to have. But between, between these two, Give me the Houston Texas money line. I just can't choose the Chets at this point. And I think CJ Stroud can at least work with Robert Woods, Tank Dell, and John Mackey to find his way through this Jets defense. I cannot choose the Jets at this point until they show me a reason for me to pick them. Give me the Houston Texans money line. Denver Broncos versus the Baltimore Ravens. The Denver Broncos defeated the Carolina Panthers and the Ravens lose in a close divisional matchup to the Cleveland Browns. The Ravens are the better team on paper totally get that but let's look at a few trends that i've noticed this season for the baltimore ravens teams that have played the cleveland browns at cleveland have all lost the following week the baltimore ravens as eight point favorites or more are zero and two the baltimore ravens being heavy favorites going against underdogs with odds of plus 300 and more the ravens are zero and two they're going to up against a Denver Broncos defense that's top three in opponents yards allowed and top 10 and run defense. I really want to choose the Ravens in this spot, but until they show me a reason for me to pick them as heavy favorites and at least win the game as eight point favorites or more and beat a team that have plus 300 odds, give me the potential upset puncher chance Denver Broncos. This is a potential trap game. I definitely see a lot of people go on the Ravens since they're going back home, but until the Ravens break that trend, give me the Denver Broncos with a potential upset for week nine. Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. The Dolphins lose to the Arizona Cardinals at home, and the Buffalo Bills took care of business and defeated the Seattle Seahawks at Seattle. Give me the Buffalo Bills money line. The Buffalo Bills own the Miami Dolphins. This game is at Buffalo. I see the Bills winning this game probably by a touchdown or more. Buffalo Bills money line. Las Vegas Raiders versus the Cincinnati Bengals. The Raiders lose to the Chiefs and the Bengals lose at home versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Everything in my heart just wants me to choose the Raiders because the Bengals have not won a game yet and I can see crazy things happen in this game. But give me the Bengals money line. They at least have to win a game at home at some point this season. This is the spot for them to beat the Raiders. And I think the Bengals can at least get back into the willing column and hopefully win this game and hopefully a few others in a row. But give me the Bengals at home. I do not see the Raiders upsetting the Bengals team. So I like the Bengals money line at home to at least get that first home win. Washington Commanders versus the New York Giants. The Commanders had the Maryland Miracle beating the Chicago Bears on a Hail Mary and the Giants are coming off their primetime game on Monday night. Give me the Washington Commanders money line. This Commanders team is different this year than it was last year. Give Jane Daniels the Rookie of the Year award. The Giants seem to forget how to score touchdowns at MetLife Stadium. So until they do, I'm going the opposite way. Give me the Washington Commanders money line to defeat the Giants at MetLife Stadium. New England Patriots versus the Tennessee Titans. The Patriots had a nice victory over the New York Jets, and the Tennessee Titans got blown out by the Detroit Lions at Detroit. This game is more, this is more of a, no, I'm more ass than you. I deserve the number one overall pick in 2025 kind of game. No interest in this game between two of the worst teams in the NFL. But the one reason why I'm going Patriots money line this game is because teams have yet to win a game after playing the Detroit line. So until someone does, give me the upset Patriots money line. Teams haven't won after playing the Lions, and I don't think, and maybe the Titans do, but I'll go in that direction on that trend. Give me the Patriots underdog versus the Tennessee Titans. LA Chargers versus the Cleveland Browns. The Chargers defeated the Saints, and the Browns had a nice shocking victory, victory over the Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be a very close game that I believe because because apparently I have more trust in Winston throwing a ball than I do with Deshaun Watson. So at least 
Jameis Winston gives his, gives his team a puncher's chance to just air the ball out and potentially score more points. But I like the Chargers in the game. I think they can find a way to kind of beat this team with a thousand paper cuts and just run the ball in Cleveland. Um, I kind of do want to pick Cleveland because I do think that Winston gives them that puncher's chance. But anything can happen in divisional games. The Browns got that shocking victory in the divisional game. Give me the Chargers money line. I think they defeat the Cleveland Browns at Cleveland. New Orleans Saints versus the Carolina Panthers. The Saints lose to the Chargers and the Panthers lose to the Broncos. This is a game where I believe that Derek Carr will be healthy and play this game. This Saints team has not been right with Spencer Rattler starting at quarterback. I understand that he's a rookie, but they have yet to win a game with Spencer Rattler under center. I do think they get Derek Carr back. The Saints are on a terrible losing streak, but the Panthers haven't done any better during the season. But between those two, give me the give me the New Orleans Saints. I have more faith with the Saints with Derek Carr at quarterback than I do with this Panthers team winning. So give me the Saints money line in this game in this divisional matchup. Dallas Cowboys versus the Atlanta Falcons. The Cowboys lose to the San Francisco 49ers, and the Falcons beat the Buccaneers by five points without having Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. I got to say, this game will be close based on my feeling. The reason being is because the Falcons are very Jekyll and Hyde to me. It feels like when you watch them play, it seems like they try to find ways to lose, but yet squeak out those crazy wins but they are first in the division the cowboys got blown out by the detroit lions went on a bye and lose on prime time to the san francisco 49ers i'm gonna go dallas cowboys underdog money line here is why if you look at the past two games the lions and the san francisco 49ers are one of the most run heavy teams in the nfl of course the cowboys aren't going to have a chance to stop the run against run heavy teams against the detroit lions and the san francisco 49ers they are both top 15, top 20, and sack percentage. If you look at the Atlanta Falcons, they're pretty much bottom 10, bottom 15 in run play percentage. So they're, they are not a run-heavy team, especially with Kirk Cousins at quarterback. They're not going to run the rock a lot, similar to the Lions and the San Francisco 49ers. And compared to the Detroit Lions and the San Francisco 49ers, the Falcons are ranked dead last in sack, in sack percentage. So I think the fact that the Falcons are not a run-heavy team and have a hard time getting after the quarterback, I do see an upset here at Atlanta. I think that gives Dak some time to be in the pocket, find C.D. Lamb, and he does, and this Dallas defense does not have to worry about the run game with the with the Falcons running the ball over and over and over again. I like the potential upset based off of those reasonings. Give me the Cowboys upset over the Atlanta Falcons. Jacksonville Jaguars versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The Jaguars lose to the Green Bay Packers, and the Philadelphia Eagles defeated the Cincinnati Bengals. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line. I don't think that the Jaguars have a chance to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. It's up in the air if Brian Thomas Jr. will play. It's up in the air if Christian Kirk will play. So there's a good chance that Trevor Lawrence will be in this game without his top receivers. It doesn't matter. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles money line. They take care of business at home against the Jaguars. Chicago Bears versus the Arizona Cardinals. The Bears lose in a crazy, crazy way on a Hail Mary to rookie Jaden Daniels. So the Bears lose on the road at Washington. And the Arizona Cardinals defeated the Miami Dolphins at Miami and got their first back-to-back -back wins in a couple wins in a couple years so that is great that they finally ended that streak but give me the Arizona Cardinals at home to defeat the Chicago Bears the Bears have yet to win a game on the road and on top of that the Cardinals are at 500 and the Bears have yet to beat a team at 500 or more give me the gritty Arizona Cardinals at home to take care of the Chicago Bears. I think the Bears need to get back home and get that, get their team situated, but they're still on the road. Don't trust them just yet. Arizona Cardinals money line. Detroit Lions versus the Green Bay Packers. The Lions blew the door off the Tennessee Titans, and the Packers win with a game-winning field goal against the Jacksonville Jaguars. There is a great chance that Jordan Love would not be in this game. I see a situation where the Packers are going to sit Jordan Love for this game. They have a bye next week and have him come by after 
haven't come back after the bye. So I think Jordan Love may not play this game. I think this is Malik Willis coming to this game. But give me the Detroit Lions in this game to defeat the Green Bay Packers. I understand it's a divisional game, 50-50. Anything can happen in divisional matchups. Malik Willis, even though he is undefeated with the Green Bay Packers, he has yet to defeat a team with a winning record and have yet to defeat a divisional team with the Green Bay Packers. The Lions are very hot, and I don't see the Packers having a chance defeating this hot Lions team. Give me the Detroit Lions money line. LA Rams versus the Seattle Seahawks. The LA Rams had a nice victory on Thursday night against the, the Minnesota Vikings, and the Seattle Seahawks lose to the Buffalo Bills. If there is one game on this slate that can probably potentially end in the tie, it's probably this Rams and Seahawks team. They're very similar offensively and defensively, but with Cooper, with uh, Puka Nakua coming back and Cooper Cup, this team looks very explosive, and they're on a high defeating the Minnesota Vikings and the Seattle Seahawks. Do not know if I have much faith in this team just yet. They defeated the Broncos in their first game with Bo Nix's first start. They defeated the tua Miami Dolphins. They defeated the Jekyll and High Atlanta Falcons team. I need to see a nice quality win out of the Seattle Seahawks team. The Rams have the coaching advantage. And on top of that, the Rams are looking to get hot and stay competitive in the NFC West. Give me the Rams underdogs as they are underdogs right now. Give me the Rams underdogs to defeat the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. Indianapolis Colts versus the Minnesota Vikings. The Colts lose to the Houston Texans and the Vikings lose to the LA Rams. Between these two teams, give me the Minnesota Vikings to defeat the Colts. I have no faith in Anthony Richardson at quarterback. This Colts team has more of a chance to win games with Joe Flacco quarterback, but the Minnesota Vikings... Back-to-back -back losses, I think they finally recuperate and get back into winning, co winning column in this game. Give me the Minnesota Vikings money line over the Indianapolis Colts. Now we have our Monday night primetime game, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. The Buccaneers lose by five points to the Atlanta Falcons, and the Chiefs had a nice victory over their divisional rival in the Las Vegas Raiders. It's going to be very hard for Baker to shred this, ch this Chiefs pass defense without Without Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, the Chiefs are undefeated. They're hot and rolling. And even though Mahomes looks terrible this season, him at quarterback is still a huge reason why they're still undefeated. Give me the Kansas City Chiefs money line. They defeat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Don't think that the Buccaneers have much of a chance to upset the Chiefs on Monday night. So give me the Chiefs money line. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week nine picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.